So here I am in Affinity Designer on the iPad. The, the pen tool, if you're used to Adobe Illustrator, is a little bit different in Affinity Designer, and so it can be a little bit quirky. And one of the things that took me a little while to figure out was, was how to break apart a node uh, so, so that the handlebars work the way I wanted to. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. If I grab a node and I grab one of these handlebars and I drag it around, it moves both handlebars at the same time and I don't want that to happen. So how would I go about fixing that? I just want to grab one of them. Well, if I uh, grab it and start moving it and then put a finger down, uh, when I start moving that, it creates what they call a, a cusp and allows me to move that handlebar independently. And then the other one is gonna move independently as well. You can do the same thing when you're drawing with the pen tool. Uh, I'll place my first point and then I'll start arcing my second point. And when I place my finger down on the canvas, you see that that second handlebar might be kind of hard to see because the blue matches the gray a little bit, but that second handlebar is actually moving independently of the other one. Uh, so when I let my finger down and draw my next point, you can see that, that it has done its own thing. It, it has created a cusp. Anyway, quick fix. That one took me a little while to find when I started using this uh, iPad version of Affinity Designer. If that was helpful, give this video a like. Also, I have some Affinity Designer classes over on Udemy. There is a, a big discount code down below. I have an iPad version of that class coming out soon. It might be out by the time you watch this. Uh, if it is, that link will be in the description too. Thank you guys for watching.